my veil on because I've burned a hole in it before. I don't like hot smoke in the face, so I figure they don't either. I always give them a good smush to make sure there's not spiders in there. Got my hive tool, my smoker, and I feel pretty confident in the outfit that I chose to wear to keep the bees out. This hive's nice and docile today. You see the ones coming up to check out with their eyes facing you? Those are the guard bees. So they're coming up to find out what's going on. There's wax and propolis all around. Propolis is something that the bees make and it can be used medicinally for people, but in the hive, they use it to stick everything together. Come on, little bee. You wanna pull the frame straight out. You don't wanna knock those bees off. And this is a frame of cap honey. We could extract that. I'm gonna leave it for the bees this time of year. They're gonna eat this all throughout winter to maintain until spring. So this is a full honey super and it is about 60 pounds of honey. Looks like they are backfilling that with nectar. So what they have in now is fresh collected nectar. The goldenrod flow is on. So if you see a bunch of goldenrod alongside the road, that's what the bees are going after right now. Once they have the nectar in there, they're gonna turn it into honey. We have two full boxes of honey for them to overwinter with. So that's gonna be about 120 pounds of honey. They have nurse bees that cover the brood frames and take care of the eggs. They'll feed them, cap them, and then once they're uncapped, their first job is to become nurse bees and kind of continue that cycle on. If this hive did not have a queen, they would be buzzing so loud it would sound like a motor. So there are three types of bees that are gonna be in your hive. Worker bees, which are the female bees. Drone bees, which are your male bees. And in the winter, they actually kick out all of the drone bees. So when the hive overwinters, there will be no male bees in the hive. It'll be female workers and the queen. These cap cells here are baby bees that are getting ready to be born. So that bee right there is uh, freshly emerging. He's chewing his way out of the cell. There he comes. So the queen, while she does lay eggs, she can lay up to I think 80,000 eggs a day in a single day. The worker bees are really the ones who are directing the hive. It's more of a collective than a queen bee situation.